everyone. I'm Angela. This is Instant Pot Life and today I am making something so simple and so delicious in the Instant Pot. It's a pot roast. This is actually uh, called the Eye of Round. It's part, it's a more lean cut of beef. Uh, normally I like cooking prime rib in the oven or cooking steak on the pan, but sometimes we want to use the the lesser cuts and the instant pot is perfect for it it's way quicker than slow cooking and it's so moist and so delicious as you can see these are all our ingredients and i'm going to start off with seasoning the pot roast before we prep the rest of the ingredients so i have here some pepper and i'm just going to sprinkle all around it uh, let me roll up my sleeves first all right so you're just going to season the salt and pepper all around your roast Get that nicely. Oh, it's so I have a three pound roast here, which is pretty big. I kind of can't lift it with one hand. Here we go. And we have to add the salt. Oops. And if you want, you could actually rub in the garlic as well, but I haven't prepped that yet. So this is a good start already. So just rub that in. I'm gonna just leave it right here. I'm just gonna be right back and wash my hands. My hands are clean now. So I am going to sear the outside of the pot roast. And while that's searing, I'm gonna be prepping the rest of the ingredients. Because it gets a little loud, I'm just going to move my Instant Pot behind us and I'll do it back there. So you want to make sure you select saute and then we'll be searing the pot roast. Before you sear it, you would like to put some oil inside. So maybe give it around one minute to heat up the oil and then we're going to add the pot roast in. I'm just going to cut up some garlic here. Just cut the ends off. You can mince it, you can slice it. It's really up to you for this part. The great thing about the Instant Pot is all the flavors come out from pressure cooking. So it's, it's pretty simple for all the flavors to reach your your meats okay this part's a little tricky so what i usually like to do when i can't get the garlic skin off is you can just give it a little pound with the end of your your knife like this and then you'll notice that oh it comes off a little bit better like right now it's a bit difficult right so if you just give it a little pound and off it comes now I'm just going to sear the outside of the roast. Okay, and now we're going to just cut the onions. So I'm going to cut these into about the same size as the mushrooms and the carrots so that they will cook more evenly at the same time. Carrots, you just want to peel it and then cut into nice chunks. I'm going to flip that again. Now the mushrooms, we're just going to cut them in half. And now the celery, just, uh, same thing, just roughly chop it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now before we put these ingredients in, what I want to remind you to do is your pot roast, you have the other sides of it. So we're gonna flip it two more times actually. And 
now you can see the beautiful color on this pot roast. So now that that's done searing, I'm just gonna click cancel and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the pot back over so you can have a closer look. All right, so now what you want to do is take your pot roast out because we'll be putting the vegetables on the bottom. Look at the beautiful color on this. It's gonna be tasty. So what you'll need to do is just add in your, whoa, add in your onions and garlic. And then just the rest of the mushrooms, carrots, and celery. You want that lying evenly on the bottom. And then we'll just be placing the pot roast back on top. Add in the water. And now close the lid. Make sure it's on seal. Select meat stew or high pressure cooking for 40 minutes. Now that that's done, we're just gonna let the pressure release naturally. Okay, so now just open it up. And I'm going to just put it onto this plate here. And just let that rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, so make sure you cancel the previous pressure cook. And now we're gonna select saute. And we're just gonna wait until that starts warming up here. While that's warming up, we're just gonna mix some cornstarch with some water. You want to use cold water so you're able to dissolve your cornstarch. Actually, I'm gonna pull out the vegetables as well. It's much easier to thicken the sauce without the vegetables there. So now that that's bubbling, we want to add in the cornstarch water mixture. And then we'll just stir it around. And you'll have to let that boil again. So you have to make sure you see bubbles before it's done. And then you'll have the perfect gravy consistency. Okay, so now we're just gonna take out the gravy here. I'm just going to add it to my uh, little gravy boat. So now that it's rested for 10 minutes, we'll just want to start slicing it up. I like thin slices. have it our pot roast made in the instant pot still steaming hot with nice delicious gravy uh, I hope you enjoyed this video just like it down below oops this way this way no enjoy everyone see you next time and remember always to taste test your food